Well, the Food and Drug Administration approved a drug for cancer patients that has ties to the Eugene Springfield area. The drug, known as Gaziva, is designed to help those dealing with one of the most common forms of blood cancer. And thanks to the work done at the Willamette Cancer Institute and those locally willing to try this new drug, the FDA fast-tracked the approval, making it the first drug to earn the breakthrough therapy designation. And the deep breath. Checkups are much more routine now for Betty Hemmingson. <sighs> but just two short years ago, a trip to the doctor's office revealed something that would change her life. My white blood cell count had tripled, and I had a node in my neck that was the size of a golf ball. Doctors diagnosed her with one of the most common forms of blood cancer known as CLL. It's uh, a lot of lymph nodes there. Chemotherapy was one of those treatment options. Instead, though, Hemmington opted for a new clinical trial under the supervision of Dr. Jeff Sharman at the Willamette Valley Cancer Institute. I really didn't hesitate. It was kind of a no-brainer, really. The drug's called Gaziva. The FDA just approved it, thanks in part to the work done here. Hemmington was one of a few hundred across the nation who helped test this new drug. It worked perfectly for me. Um, it changed my body chemistry and brought it to normal overnight after the five percent of the first dose. With this drug patients keep their hair, uh, they don't experience the typical nausea vomiting. Um, many of the side effects of chemotherapy simply aren't seen with this. As for how it works, Dr. Sharman says the drug alerts the immune system that there's a problem. It serves sort of like a flag in the ground and it says come here get rid of this problem. And when used in combination with another drug, the FDA says Gaziva is extremely effective. I think that this gives us new tools and new tools to get deeper longer lasting remissions. Yeah. Tools that came with perfect timing. I have leukemia and I'm lucky because the drug came in time for me. It just all kind of cosmically timed out right. And if the stars align just right, people all over the world dealing with their own cancer battle will themselves breathe a little easier. <sighs> Fantastic. Awesome. This clinical study will follow Hemmingson now for three years. So far, she says the cancer cells are inactive. Dr. Sharman says the FDA may soon approve two more drugs as researchers continue to look for new ways to attack cancer.